occupied West Bank, where the Israeli military is again conducting a series of raids. Israeli bulldozers have stormed the city of Jenin and are destroying infrastructure. At least one Palestinian was killed during the incursion outside of Ramallah. Israeli forces shot dead at least two Palestinians during a raid in Al-Jib. Three others have been injured and are seeking treatment in hospital. In occupied East Jerusalem, the Israeli military has killed a 13-year-old Palestinian boy. Rami El Halhuli was shot in the chest while he was playing with fireworks near the Shoefat refugee camp checkpoint. Let's get the latest with Al Jazeera's Laura Khan, who's in occupied East Jerusalem for us. Laura, let's start with the ongoing army raids in Jenin and Tulkarem. Tell us about the latest you're hearing uh, about the situation there. Well, Polly, it's a developing situation across the occupied West Bank. We've seen raids from the north to the south, from Hebron in the south up to Ramallah. Um, most recently, Nablus. We've seen the Israeli forces storming Nablus in the last hour or so in Tokaram, but most noteworthy is Janine. We saw around 30 Israeli military vehicles entering Janine refugee camp. At, they were accompanied by some armored bulldozers that started to destroy infrastructure, tear up the streets. Uh, we've even seen video of them taking down big kind of water vats on the sides of houses, so really causing quite extensive damage. They have been met with some confrontations from Palestinian fighters, and we've also seen some um, improvised explosives going off um, around the Janine refugee camp. We do know one man has been shot dead. He was standing outside a hospital. His name is Rabia al Nawrasi. And we know at least one more person has been critically injured. It is an ongoing situation there, so we will keep you updated. Right. And we have a 13 year old boy, Laura, killed by an Israeli sniper in occupied East Jerusalem. What do we know happened and what have been the reactions? This is Rami Al Halhuli, as you said, 13 years old, shot by a sniper in the chest. Now, there are two different stories contradicting each other. The Israeli military said that they were endangered by the boys shooting fireworks towards them, and they then decided to take action, shot him dead. Uh, from eyewitness accounts and also corroborated by video that we've seen shows the boy shooting fireworks up into the air as so many people have done during Ramadan and during the holy month. And the second video we've seen is of the boy lying on the floor and his mother obviously responding, devastated. At this point, he was taken away by a Palestinian ambulance. So it's important to note he was on the occupied West Bank side of the Israeli wall, but it's part of occupied East Jerusalem. Mm. So the ambulance took him to the wall. He then had to be transferred into an Israeli ambulance where he was taken to a medical complex here and he was pronounced dead. So two very different stories. Two more men shot dead tonight as well in occupied East Jerusalem. Um, they, the Israeli military, once again had a different version um, of events. So they said that five men were shooting Molotov cocktails towards them. In a video uh, they sent out, um, it shows them then trying to escape to a car when they shot two of them dead, a 16-year-old and a 23-year-old, and three more are recovering in hospital. Uh, the families have already held their uh, funerals uh, in al Jeep, which is uh, West of Ramallah, still part of occupied East Jerusalem, where hundreds, if not thousands, of people attended. Laura, thank you very much for the updates. That's Al Jazeera's Laura Khan reporting their live from occupied East Jerusalem.